everybody, it's the Imperfect Woman, and I'm coming to you um, with a review slash kind of on-the-spot makeup look um, for the uh, Too Faced uh, Regular Chocolate Palette. Sorry, I was going to say Semi-Sweet, but I took that back. Semi-Sweet was not good for me, but this one just inspired me when I saw it, so... I figured I would rather go with something that inspires me rather than something everyone is just buying because they like neutrals. Um, I'm not a neutral girl, but this is actually a really good neutral palette. I I don't know. I just I just got more attracted to the the regular chocolate bar than the semi sweet. Maybe I'll learn to love the semi sweet later on, but for now I'm going to use this one and I'm going to create an on the spot. Just as I go, I have not pre-planned this um, makeup look. So here's the palette. It's really pretty color because I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is my kind of chocolate. And it also came, just like the semi-sweet, came with these looks to kind of get you going. And it shows you how to do it on the back. I'm not going to go use that just because I want to create something that's on the spot. So I'm going to open this palette and... Actually, the palette does not just open like the Semi Sweet did, but maybe I just got a defective case. But the only downside, and I loved in the Semi Sweet, was the fact that it had the names printed on the palette instead of this um, clear sheet, which now I can't get off. Okay, this clear sheet is for the names of the colors, so I'm going to have to reference it a lot. So bear with me if I'm looking down and I'm like, oh, I have to whip this thing out. I might end up just uh, pasting it up there. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But um, that's the only downside to this palette. I love that in the semi-suite that had it printed right under the shadow itself. So let's get started with the look that's kind of like this is going to be made up as I go. So I'm going to start off with my primer, which is the Urban Decay primer potion dot there and dot there that's how I usually apply it then I take a concealer brush and just kind of blend it in the lid just blend it out pat it a little bit and if you get if you get like a clump or something, just blend it out with your finger. But Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with a highlighting color. So I'm going to take this flat brush right here. And I'm in the mood for matte highlight. So I'm going to use, and I memorized this one because it's easy to remember, it's white chocolate. There are There is fallout, so... If you don't like the fallout, just tap your brush. So there's the uh, white chocolate color, and I'm just going to bring it down into the crease a little bit, just so my colors blend a little better. I find that when I do the highlight first, because my thing was lid color, crease and contour, highlight last. So I'm going to do reverse and do highlight first, but I'm going to do my contour last, but my crease is going to be right after this. So I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit just so that I can um, blend the colors better. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of, again I have to reference to my sheet, Champagne Truffle, which is this one right here. I'm going to add just a little bit of that. I just want a little shimmer into that. And it's very shimmery. So just lightly use it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blending brush here and I'm going to pick up, and this is Salted Caramel, which is this color. It's a beautiful crease color. It's I use it for my transition color. Well, I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to use it as my transition color. What am I talking about? I'm using this for the first time. So just swing it back and forth in the crease.
I know, I mean, a lot of people really do love the semi-sweet palette, and a lot of people don't. It just depends on your preference, and I'm not saying that those who do like bland colors, not by any means. There's people that just love neutrals, there's people that love bold color, there's people that love bold color and also like the palette because it's a great neutral for them. You know, you want some shadows that are your go-to colors. It just didn't speak to me because it just, the browns were too repetitive for me and at least the browns in this one have different consistencies and different um, finishes. You know, there's two colors that are similar, which are the, this one and this one. This one's just a shade lighter, this one's a shade darker. And then this one has like an olive green type of look to it, and it also has, uh, you know, it has gold flecks in it. So there's at least a, to me, there's differences. But that's just my opinion. You know, tell me what you think. Do you like the semi-sweet? Do you like the chocolate? Just let me know what you think. Okay, so I've done my crease color. Can you see that? All right, now I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the inner part of the eyelid and then I'm going to do the outer part later. So I'm gonna contour later. So I'm gonna use Marsupan. This is why I bought the palette, I love that color. It's beautiful champagne pink color. It's very pigmented. But I'm just going to pat that on. Like so. Oops. Didn't want to get that there. Oh my gosh, these colors just blend like airbrush. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to take salted caramel again and just kind of blend it. Blend the colors together. In the crease. And just blend it out a little bit. All right. Next, I'm gonna take my. Uh, let's see. I need a different brush, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna take a contour color, and I am one that likes bold. But I'm gonna start off softer. Then I'm gonna go into a bolder brown color. So I'm gonna actually pick up. Probably hot chocolate, which is this color right here. It's a shimmer. See how soft it looks. And I'm getting fallout. Only downside, there's some fallout. But make sure you tap it. I'm not tapping it right now. And I'm going to take a little bit of Semi Sweet, which is this color right here. Then take my blending brush and just blend that through just lightly and see how that blends I don't know if you can see it it blends super soft and airbrush looking oh gosh I just love I love how soft and creamy these ones are okay so I'm gonna actually take a darker color into my inner V and that's going to be triple fudge which is this color right here it's a really dark chocolate, dark chocolate brown. So I'm going to do that in my outer V here. Just to kind of create more depth and dimension to the look. And then go back, blend. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit of Semi Sweet to blend it through.
you see how it creates some depth to there um, let's go with the other eye This isn't as pigmented as I thought it would be, but that's okay. I mean, I just want to create some, a soft kind of neutral look here. And I'm not one for neutrals. I really am not. But for some reason, the way that these come up on me, it looks absolutely amazing. It's it's uncanny and how how beautiful these colors just come out on people so I'm gonna take semi sweet again and just kind of blend that through you don't want it to be harsh I know it looks a little harsh like that but don't worry we'll soften that up a little bit more I'm actually going to try milk chocolate, which is this color right here, and I'm going to blend that into the crease a little bit along with the outer color just to kind of blend it through. And I'm winging it, people, so if my look doesn't look polished, it's because I'm just creating it as I go. That just looks gorgeous. I mean, I am not one for neutrals, but this is beautiful. So I'm going to get another blending brush here, a clean one, and I'm just going to soften the edges here. And then I'm going to pick up my highlight color again. just to soften it out more. Oh, it's gorgeous. I know this one doesn't look blended, but it really is. Like I'm looking at it in the mirror here and it's blended. But it just doesn't look blended on the on the camera. Anyways, um I'm going to take a liner brush like this and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to put a punch of color. And the only colors in here that I see that really stand out to me is the Candied Violet, which is this color right here. I don't like purple clothes, but I like, I like purple um, eyeshadow and lipstick for some reason. So I'm going to pick up Candied Violet and run it on the bottom lash line. This is going to be my little punch of color. And it's pretty pigmented. Notice I'm not bringing it all the way because I'm going to put my little pop of um, shimmer there and I'm going to use creme I think it's creme brulee creme brulee which is a gold color and I'm going to run that right in the inner part just to have um, some shimmer on the bottom can you see it I think you can, I don't know. You can't tell sometimes when you do it softly. Okay, so now I'm going to actually pick up, I need a smaller brush. I'm gonna pick up a champagne truffle, which is of course that shimmer again. I'm gonna pop it in the inner corner of the eye. A 
a little bit more of the creme brulee. How do you like it? I think it's a pretty good neutral look. I'm looking at it in my mirror and it does look blended. <laughs> this doesn't look blended to you, but it's blended. <laughs> it's just the lighting, I think. But um, overall, that's really pretty. I don't know. That's a gorgeous, 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 I mean gorgeous neutral for me. It's just as I went, I just picked up colors that really want that I just wanted to try on my eye and I mean again the the looks are endless on this palette for neutrals and I'm not a neutral gal but you know what I'm in love with this palette I wasn't in love with the semi sweet but I should have done I should have done a as you go kind of tutorial but I just saw a lot of colors in there that I didn't think I would use it's just my preference I guess I don't know but um, it's of course unfinished, I don't have any mascara and I don't have any lipstick or eyeliner on but I just wanted to show you that a girl that loves pop of colors all the time loves color, color, color. I mean the Electric palette is my all time favorite palette and I use very intense colors, very intense lips. Just shows you that a girl can turn neutral. It's just unbelievable on how these blend they blend so beautifully I mean gorgeous I'm in love I'm in love so pick up the palette if even if you're not like sure about it a lot of people have preferred this palette over the semi sweet and a lot of people prefer the semi sweet over this chocolate palette so it just depends on your preference so if you like something that's really really soft blendable beautiful pick this up this is one of those palettes that the colors just melt together they just blend together they they marry so nicely because as you can see I mean of course this eye looks a little weird but um how they blended how soft they look and how just it's a beautiful natural pal neutral palette so I hope you enjoyed this I know I'm not gonna finish this up because I'm actually gonna do another uh, tutorial on my Lorac palette I'm going to um, also do in the future I'm gonna start posting my electric palette tutorials I'm still kind of getting some spring looks together for that um, but I'm going to do a tutorial on my Lorac palette and also my smoke palette should be coming soon so please subscribe to my channel it's The Imperfect Woman by Lydia D. And I just hope that you guys love my channel. Follow my blog, theimperfectwoman.tumblr.com. And just write a note, please. I'm just trying to get more people to understand that nobody's perfect. I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't have perfect skin. It may look perfect, but um, I have my struggles as every woman does and I want you guys to know that you need if you are female and having uh, personal issues uh, feeling low self-esteem I was in your shoes and just be yourself feel beautiful from inside and it'll radiate outside so I hope you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up subscribe and stay vibrant <laughs>